are you, Andrew? <laughs> Thank you. As an accounting professor, I'm very happy to see what you're doing with your, uh, your education. We're not as boring as they say. No, we are not. <laughs> um, I was in an opening game in my university for the women's soccer team. And I turned around and I saw a woman wearing a t-shirt that said, Save Women's Sports. Would you please address that? My daughter ran track in high school. I played tennis. In what world do we get our girls used to biological boys in their locker room? You can't. You can't do that to them. The idea of biological boys in girls' sports... I have said, I will continue to say, it is one of the biggest issues of our time. We are supposed to be growing strong girls. Strong girls become strong women. Strong women become strong leaders. But you don't do that by putting biological boys in their locker room. You don't do that by having biological boys play sports where they have been training all their life for that moment. And then do you know Johns Hopkins just came out with the definition of a woman? You know what they said? A non-man. <laughs> Ladies, that should offend every one of you. You don't get to erase us because we don't go away that easy. So, look, I am going to fight against that every day of the week because we need to focus on what really matters. Last year, a third of our teenage girls seriously contemplated suicide. We need to be protecting them. We need to be giving them confidence. We need to let them know that there is a place for them. We don't need to be erasing them. So it just infuriates me that we're even having this conversation. I wish they would put the same energy into teaching our kids to read and write as they are in teaching them about pronouns. It's just wrong. On every